So speaking of fire, you sold some fire ass mixtapes on the streets of Thank Yonkers. You. you battle rapped in prison. Um, how did battle rapping in prison and selling tapes on the street shape you as an artist? And can you maybe share a story from the early days running around Yonkers? Well, um, see, I, 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 I kind of grew up with hip hop, where I mean, like, like, like as hip hop, because people think um, hip hop is not just music. Hip hop is is a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's a way of talking. It's a way of standing. The b-boy stance. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 um, yeah. You know, um, uh, graffiti. You know, DJ breakdance. You know what I'm saying? It's like you had to do something that was a part of hip hop, which is the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And um, like you know, as I, I started beatboxing, I used to beatbox, and um, a huge part of the the, the music aspect of it. But ready, Ron. What? Oh, oh wow, wow, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Okay, shit just got real. Shit just got real. All right. So, I'm in Yonkers, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I just come home from being in these institutions from the age of 7 to 14, you know what I mean? And um, this guy, uh, Reddy Ron, you know what I mean? He was like an older brother to me. And he would rap, and I would do the beatbox. And, um... I looked up to him like 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 an older brother. You know what I'm saying? I like, like I love this guy like an older brother. You know, and I have any brothers. And um, man, I would be boxing, he would rap, and then he, he suggested one time. He said, "You know what? Um, why don't you you know write a couple of rhymes and they'll act as a beatbox for you? You know what I'm saying? We can like change places." I was like, "Okay, I, 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 that makes sense." And um, I remember, um, I, I, I remember went upstairs taking a piss, <laughs> and that's where it's, my first rhyme came to me, you know what I'm saying? And um, referring to incidents occurring in past times when the beats of my profession, I had no rhymes with the daytime change. And so do a male. That's when I remember journey up the MC Hill to make my first step forward to leave behind my past. Had to put my future first, everything else last. First rhyme was unacceptable, but that's when change by taking parts of words with them rearranging. It was like a story, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what mm. I was back then. And um, man, this guy, this guy, oh, this guy. And, um, you know, I could tell by his response that it was like, it was a dope rhyme. I'm like, okay. You know, so we worked at it like that. But this guy, man, this guy, this guy, this guy, hmm. this guy, he, he, he introduced me to what would be the best part of my life, which would be the rap. But he also, a the theme of my life is blessed with the curse. And the curse aspect of it was, um, like I said, I was, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't smoke cigarettes. I didn't smoke weed. I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't do anything. I'm 14 years old, and um, me and my man went to a robbery one night, and it was his birthday, and we came back, and we, we spent the money. I said, hey, you know, take this, go get something. Nice for your birthday, whatever. Hmm. So he came back with a blunt rolled up, and as I'm counting the money, he likes the blunt. And I said, I, I was impressed. Oh, I don't really smoke, nigga, fuck out of here. And he passed the blunt around, and um, wow. Hmm. Mm. Mm. It, it, and I hit the blood and I'm like, like, I was no longer focused on the money. It, 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 I never felt like, it, like it, it just fucked me up. I'm like, the fuck? And, um, I later found out that he, uh, he laced the blood with, with, with the crack. Mm. With my thing. Why would you do that to a child? Right. And this nigga, like, like, like 30, you know what I'm saying? And he, and he knew how I looked up to him. Yeah. Mm. He knew how I looked up to him, you know what I'm saying? And like, why would you do that to somebody who looks up to you like this? I mean? Mm. Take your time, brother. Um, the monster was born. Hmm. I was born. I mean, and um, that's the, like, like I, I wouldn't do that to my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I mean, like I said, especially the someone that you supposedly love. Yeah. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? 
Uh, right. I put that in one of my songs called Pain. Uh, I smoke crack at 14 for the first time, given to me by a nigga that I idolize. My love is real. But after that, what I saw in his eyes was a snake, and who I love was just a disguise. So mm. the, the person that I loved was a snake. He acted like he was a good person. You know what I'm saying? He acted like he you know, loved me, but. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I didn't, you know, we wanted to talk a little bit later about, um, you know, about addiction and about pathologies in the hood. And, and I didn't expect for, you know, I didn't understand even asking that question, how that's all tied up together. But yeah. it speaks to what I said in the intro is that you showed us who you were. Uh, you were unapologetic about telling your mm -hmm. story and the difference between you and a lot of these celebrities and this, I said this to you last night. Mm -hmm is that you're a true artist like you live and breathe this art and it's not it's not separate the the rhyming is not separate from who you are as a person it's like it's it's really life or death because right. it comes from a life or death experience you know okay. we appreciate you being so strong and weathering any storm so you could come and tell us these stories brother thank you thank you thank you and um i, I don't see I can, I can think of no one else that, you know, to open up like this, about this, the way, you know what I'm saying, that happens, you know, other than you, you know what I'm saying, I have a tremendous amount of respect for you, tremendous amount of respect for you, I mean, you know, when you, when you think real MCs, you're right there, you're right there. You know I, mean? uh, I love right and appreciate there, you, brother. You know what I mean, it's just what it is, it's just yeah. what it is, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, I, I'm glad it was you that I got to talk to, I mean, and, you know, if you, I feel like you you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. I, mean, I, I you know I point out the little, the, the, you know, the other aspects of the story. You know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of people just focus on oh drug, like no, hip hop. You, you had to, you know, do something that was a part of hip hop. You had like it just it is what it was. You know what I'm saying? I, I did yeah. graffiti, all that. You know what I'm saying? I did the beatbox, but you know, you you you. Thank you. Thank, 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 oh, thank you. you. Thank you for helping me open that door. Because thank you, brother. That's one of that's actually the biggest problem, not addiction. Mm. Uh, and I always said this, I mean, drugs were never a problem. Drugs were a symptom of a biggest problem, mm. a bigger mm. problem. Mm. And, um, you know, um, there was things that I went through in my childhood and where I just blocked it out, blocked it out, blocked it out. But it, there's only so much you can block out, you know, before you run out of space. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then you never know when you know, the things you stored away are just gonna come out and just fall all over the place. And, you know, you know, it, it might not, it, it probably won't be a pretty situation. So I learned that I had to deal with the things that hurt me that I didn't deal with when they hurt and mm. when they happened. I didn't deal with them then. I mean, it's like, you know what, let me, let me open this door and start dealing with this shit now before it comes yeah. at the wrong time and I just have a meltdown and, you know, I, I'll, I'll be, you know, no more good to anybody. Mm. So that's what, you know, um, that's what's um, helped, you know what I'm saying, with with with, uh, with addiction and sobriety and, you know, um, just just knowing that, you know, get some, let some of the stuff out, let some stuff out. Yeah. And you know, I really didn't have anybody to talk to about it because, you mm -hmm. know, in the hood, it's like, I was like, all right, right, this is what it is, this is what it is. Like, you know, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody yeah. wants to even help with talking, because so often uh, talking about your problems is viewed as a sign of weakness, when it's actually uh, one of the bravest things you can do. Yeah. One of the bravest things you can do is, you know what I'm saying, put it on the table and chop it up and, you know, just, just let it out. And it has to be to the right person. It has to be with the right person. I think that uh, I'm happy that the stigma for talking about mental health is not mm -hmm. being considered weak because it's actually very strong because it takes a lot of courage mm -hmm. for you to be able to talk yes. about what's going on and when somebody asks you how your day is going and you not just say fine, but you actually right. let them know what's going on in your life so that either they can help you out or sometimes just speaking it out to another person can be what you need in order to move on to the next level. That's yes. right. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah. True strength. True strength. True strength, you know, it just comes with, you know, understanding that there is a problem or understanding that, that there were things that, and, you know, when I did, when I when I started to store these things away at such a young age, it was a blessing. 
I look at it as a blessing. It was, it was, it was you know, a gift that God gave me to, um, you know, get past a difficult situation, you know, without having it just like, you know, have me lose my mind up yeah. in here, up in here. <laughs> up in here, up in here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, go make you know, me go all yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Get it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow